The age-old question that nearly every martial artist has asked themselves at least once. Which one is best? We can't do anything really as humans without bringing some form of comparisons or rankings into it, right? You see it all the time in sports. Um, they'll rank athletes as to who is the best at the time, or we do it with movies. Um, you know, my top five movies of the year. I mean, you can't even go online without seeing a long drawn out argument on which pizza toppings are the best. The point is we really like to compare things um, whether it just be for a fun conversation starter or there are some people that really take this kind of stuff seriously. Um, they have a really competitive spirit and I guess some of us can relate to that. When we're strictly talking about martial arts, you've seen it many times that people make their arguments on you know, which martial art is going to beat all the other ones, which one has all the best techniques and is better than all the other ones because that's the one I want to do. Some people have this conversation um, as seasoned veterans in their art trying to defend what they do and to explain why it's useful. Um, but a lot of people just ask this question simply um, that haven't had any experience in martial arts and basically they're just trying to find out where should they start. And that's why I want to address in this video. I'm not going to get into which art is going to beat the next in a fight or anything like that. And if you genuinely do have that question of which martial art is best, I would just ask that you amend that question to be which martial art is best for me. Some of you might disagree with me, but I don't think there's any one art that is absolute and is best for everyone, no matter what. I think that different arts can appeal to different people um, in the sense of one, their interests um, and what they wanna learn and what they want to accomplish, and two, uh, what they're actually intrinsically good at and what they have talent in. For example, if you have someone that's agile and can move their body really quickly, and just has a natural knack to do those kinds of things and they might play better into a kung fu or taekwondo style where they're going to learn a lot of these cool stunts and, and movements with their bodies with the kicks and flexibility and things like that. If you're seriously interested in starting a martial arts journey then I would suggest that you do research and look into what you might like. I don't have experience in every art by any means so I'm not going to go out and tell you what every art can do in the best ways possible. You can find better videos and better people to explain those things to you. But if you do have questions in particular about Hapkido, I do have a lot of videos on that as that is the art that I am most familiar with. But you know, think about, do you like to do a lot of grappling? Do you want to do a lot of head-to-head -head combat? Or do you want to do more solo work and practice um, your own physical fitness and you know just get better at that? And you might not even know the answer to that. You might not even know what you're interested in. Um, you know, we don't know what kind of food we like to eat until we try it. We don't know the people that we like to date uh, until we go out there and experience. So there's nothing wrong with you going around and trying the schools around you or at least talking to the instructors and getting a really good idea of what that school has to offer for you. If the school's worth anything, the instructor is going to take their time to, to talk you through uh, and be honest about the things that they practice and they probably will give you a trial class. And you can never know for sure through first impressions if this instructor is a total fraud or if they're just lying to try to get you into the school so they can have more money. Right, you hear that term thrown around a lot. The McDojos are the schools um, where the instructors are just there to bring in money and to make a living regardless of any benefits that the students may or may not experience. But there's really no risk in trying something. Um, I think all experience is good, and if something is a bad experience, then that just gives you more context in the future for what to look out for. And so we've amended our question to be, uh, which martial art is the best for me? Um, but I would take it a step further and also ask, not just which art is best, but which school is best. You might think that you hate karate because you tried a school once where the other students and the instructors, you didn't gel with them and you didn't really like what was going on there. But there might be another dojo down the road that does things totally differently. And if you just gave it a chance, you might figure out that that's the place where you want to spend the rest of your life training and practicing and maybe eventually teaching. It's unfortunate that these martial arts academies uh, don't have as much of a presence on something like Yelp like you might get with restaurants where anywhere you go you'll find dozens and dozens of reviews. Um, you might find some schools that have good reviews online, but there's many schools that are, that are quality schools that just don't have an online presence and you won't find anything on them, but if you actually go there you might figure out that you really love it. But I really just want to encourage you to keep an open mind because there are a lot of voices out there that are going to tell you that this is not a martial art um, and this is a waste of time. Um, and that's just somebody telling you what they want you to think. And there's a lot of valid criticisms of different arts and different styles that 
people choose to teach in. But at the end of the day, if it's something that you really enjoy doing, then what they tell you shouldn't matter at all. Now you do have to be careful because there are some locations out there that could be detrimental to your health and could be leading you down just the totally wrong path in terms of self-defense and you know betterment of your physical being. There are quite a few underqualified people that teach martial arts um, that really don't understand the body and really don't know what they're talking about, frankly. And you might not be able to pick them out because you're not very experienced yourself, um, but just trust your gut and like I tell you, just get as much experience as you can, try different places, and I think the quality people are gonna stick out more to you than any of the other ones. Also, contrary to popular belief, martial arts aren't mutually exclusive. You don't have to pick one and stick to it forever. That's not how it works. If you can manage it into your schedule to practice even just two arts, um, but be a really dedicated student to those, uh, if you find that you like both of them, uh, the benefits of that are numerous. You'll be able to use one to edify the other and vice versa. And you'll be able to take the good things from both of them and then you'll be able to see some of the flaws in both of them by using the other. And even if you can't hang on to two arts permanently um, and you only just stick to one, I would say to keep those other arts that you have interest in at bay and try to dabble in them in the future and try to do some little training from what you can find online or if you can find an instructor locally I would say to spend a little time doing that because I think you'll find a freshness and a new motivation and it might make you like your current art even more. It might make you want to learn and dive deeper into that just from something you saw that another school does. And I don't say this often, but if you are under an instructor that is forbidding you to try another art or doesn't want you to do anything else but what you're doing, I would leave that school immediately. There's no reason for someone else to mandate or police what you do in your other spare time unless they feel threatened for some reason or they don't think what they're teaching is right and they don't want you to bring in something that's that's proper into their school because that might throw off their whole little cult following that they have at their school. I don't know. But if you're struggling to figure out what you want to start with, um, I say don't, don't sweat it too much and just start with something. Get the ball rolling and then you might go to a school that you only go to once and then I don't like it. So I'll try another one next week. Just get out of that shell at the beginning and then I think your world's gonna open up and I think you'll find something that you truly like. The thing I love about martial arts is they are all different and they all focus on different things and they all specialize in different things. The best thing you can do to diversify yourself is to not follow down one straight path and follow one person or even just one art. Now there's nothing wrong with finding your groove and knowing that this is definitely the art for me and this is what I'm good at, so I'm gonna stick with it. But I still say keep an open mind and, and see what else you can discover that makes you enjoy what you do even more. If you've seen my other videos, you might find a trend that these question videos that I have where I pose a question um, that I never really answer it. Um, and that's because there is not one answer to these questions. To me, it would be pretty boring to make a video where I ask a question that only has one solid definite answer. Uh, that's what Google's for. I want nothing more than to spark thought and to start discussions um, and use this channel as a vessel uh, where we can meet other people from different walks of life and that practice other arts so we can get other perspectives other than my own um, and hopefully have civil discussions in the comments and we can talk about these topics and if you have other ideas of things that you want to discuss we can do videos on those as well but i would much rather this than just typing the question out uh, which martial art is the best and just having someone give you a flow chart of don't do this art because of this don't do this art because of this um, do my art because we do this better than everyone else i love hapkido and i practice taekwondo as well and i love both of those arts but I would never tell you that those are the art that you should practice and that we're better than everyone else and we do this and that better than anyone else that you can find. And I know I bring up the flaws in these arts a lot and that gets me some negative feedback sometimes. Um, but the fact of the matter is I've just been around these arts for so long and not just in my schools, but I've seen other schools and I've seen how other people operate in the art. And so I just see patterns like that. So that's the reason I talk about the, the flaws that I do. And I can't really do that with the other arts. So I'm not gonna go pick on jujitsu because I don't know the whole story and I don't feel like I'm qualified or experienced enough to talk about them. Just remember the phrase, don't knock it till you try it. Um, let me know what art you're thinking about practicing or what art you already do practice in the comments. 
and maybe we can have a discussion on the differences in what we do, even if you practice the same art that I do. Most importantly, let's stay positive even if we disagree. Thank you for watching and keep training.